This was the crown jewel in ISIL's self-declared Islamic State a few years ago. But control of Mosul is back with the triumphant Iraqi government and now the majority Sunni city is buzzing with election fever. A lot of candidates are using new ways besides their banners such as Facebook and other social media. Voters from Mosul face many difficulties because people are still displaced and more than 70% of West Mosul is completely destroyed. ISIL says it killed one candidate in Mosul. Iraq's interior ministry says its plan to secure the vote is being coordinated and strict measures are in place. For this elections, this plans in Baghdad and also all provinces, including uh, Kurdistan, Iraq. Everything now is under control. We achieve all our uh, uh, preparation. The northern city of Kirkuk used to be held by Kurdish Peshmerga. Now Iraqi forces have taken charge. Oil-rich Kirkuk is also known as Mini Iraq because of its mixed population including Kurds, Turkmen, Christians and Arabs. During this election, the focus is on using the strength of diversity to solve local issues. In order uh, to serve our uh, targets and uh, to fix the uh, coexistence between all the component of the Iraqi uh, in Kirkuk. The real test will be in places like Ramadi and other Sunni majority areas which were under ISIL. Much of the roads and buildings have been destroyed and many residents are still displaced. Iraqis are worried about sectarian divisions and political corruption. After we saw candidates backstabbing each other and some familiar old faces, we began to have doubts if any change will happen in these elections. Although many people say they are not afraid of ISIL attacks, securing the election is a challenge. On Saturday, airports and border crossings will remain closed with a 24-hour curfew. Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi wants his mostly Shia Nasr coalition to win while Vice President Nouri al-Maliki is behind his state of law coalition. Another hopeful is Hadi al-Amri, whose Fatah coalition has plenty of Shia support. And the Sunni vote is still divided in this election. There are almost 7,000 candidates vying for 329 seats. What's different about 2018 is the tone of unity rather than sectarian allegiances. There are alliances between Sunnis and Shias, between communists and Sadrists. But what's not so different are similar faces making the same promises. The biggest challenge remains to convince voters to actually come out and cast their ballots. Osama bin Javed Al Jazeera, back back.